Our next video will be why didn't Joker's men kill him and take the money? Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. I posted a video called what if Rachel lived and Harvey died. I'll link it in the corner here and in the description box. Since publishing this video, people have asked what would have happened if Gordon hadn't been late and Rachel Dawes and Harvey Dent both survived. Thank you to everyone who asked this question. And here we go. Let's say Gordon and his officers got to Rachel a couple minutes earlier and rescued her and Batman still saved Harvey, but half of his face was destroyed in the explosion. How would this change Joker's plan? Would Harvey Dent still become Two-Face? How would this change Batman's and law enforcement's strategy to stop Joker? Would Rachel and Harvey stay together? How long would Harvey live with his injuries? Would Rachel end up with Bruce? Would Alfred still burn Rachel's letter? How would the relationship between Harvey Dent, Gordon, and Batman change? Would there still be a Dent act? How would this change Joker's plan? Joker made epic plans that were normally well executed. For example, the bank robbery where all of his help was killed off, leaving him alone with all the cash and timing it perfectly for the school buses when he fled, pretending to be dead to infiltrate Gamble's hangout and kill him, killing Commissioner Loeb and the judge. But what makes him a great planner is that he can roll with the punches in ways most people can't. For instance, when Joker went to the fundraiser, he wanted Harvey Dent. But when he instead found himself confronted with Batman, he dropped Rachel out of the window so that he could make his escape. He didn't plan to make Two-Face. That was an accidental byproduct of his real plan, which was to murder Rachel and or Harvey while he took off with Lau. When he saw Harvey's face was half destroyed and his spirit was broken from losing Rachel, he seized the opportunity to turn Harvey Dent insane. He wanted to kill the mayor, but instead thought he had killed Gordon. However, Joker's plan then still fulfilled its purpose. He named Rachel next, which was Harvey's push over the edge. And if you remember in the interrogation scene, Joker confessed that he had thought Harvey Dent was Batman, so he was actually trying to push Batman over the edge. So how would Joker's plan change if Rachel and Harvey both lived? Joker's plan still would have succeeded, albeit in a slightly different way. In most DC stories, Harvey is mentally unstable and something pushes him over the edge, creating Two-Face. Being through a life-threatening event like an explosion and having major scarring like his would cause major psychological trauma by itself. Is there any possibility that losing Rachel was what made him snap? If she was okay, would Harvey Dent still become Two-Face? Yes. Even if Rachel is alive and unharmed, he would still turn insane and become Two-Face if we are judging by the standards of DC canon. He'd feel that until Joker is dead, Rachel wouldn't be safe. And then he'd realize, Gotham is corrupt and one of the most dangerous cities to live in. And he and Rachel are prosecution attorneys. Even if Joker is dead, another criminal could kill or maim her. Or they might do something unthinkable to her to get to him. The mob would want them dead. Plus, the Joker would still visit him in the hospital, say whatever he needed to turn Harvey's mind inside out, and then Two-Face would escape and start killing the mob, using his coin to kill as many as possible. And he'd eventually kill the Joker. Two-Face would keep finding Joker and flipping that coin until it told him to kill the Joker. Harvey Dent would take the law into his own hands, and the result would be similar to what we see in The Dark Knight, except that he wouldn't contemplate killing himself since he wouldn't feel responsible for Rachel's murder since it didn't happen. He would go after the mobsters and criminals, killing them off one by one until he died, the city was free of crime, or he was sent to Arkham. How would this change Batman's and law enforcement strategy to stop Joker? Batman would hide Rachel somewhere safe. Even Gordon wouldn't know where she's at. He would want to hide Harvey too, but he's MIA and on a killing spree. Batman would still use the sonar system to track down Joker ASAP and, if Two-Face doesn't find Joker first, they probably still catch him in the tower while the people and the fairies are deciding what to do. Would Rachel and Harvey stay together? Harvey would want to protect Rachel. With as many criminals as there are in Gotham, it would take him a while to bring them all to his version of justice. So he would likely break up with her until it's safe to date her again. Not dating Harvey is one less bullseye on her back. But even then, their relationship doesn't have much of a future left when he's in this condition. 
How long can they stay together when Harvey is this injured? How long would Harvey Dent live with his injuries? From a realistic perspective, he wouldn't live long like this unless he got some major medical intervention. It looks like a candy land for infection, among other things. Remember, Harvey fled the hospital in the dark night. The doctors were not done with him. Would Rachel end up with Bruce? my previous video, What If Rachel Lived and Harvey Died, I said that Rachel wouldn't stay with Bruce because of her pain stemming from Harvey's death. However, if Batman and Gordon were successful in saving both of them, there's a good chance she'd date Bruce, maybe even marry him one day, especially if Harvey died or she realized the depths of his insanity. Alfred would have kept Rachel's letter a secret until things had played out. When Harvey Dent still became Two-Face, Alfred would know that Rachel and Harvey were finished and that Rachel would likely date Bruce. Alfred would return the letter to Rachel and she would decide what to do with it. She'd probably destroy it. How would the relationship between Harvey Dent, Gordon, and Batman change? Gordon and Batman would have Harvey's respect to a higher level and he'd trust them more until they stopped him from taking the law into his own hands. Then they'd be his enemies. However, it would be years before he'd be able to kill or seriously hurt Batman or Gordon because he would feel a debt of gratitude to them for saving him and Rachel. He wouldn't have shot at Batman, he wouldn't have turned the gun on himself, and he wouldn't have threatened Gordon's family, which means that Batman would never have to push Harvey over the edge, killing him. Would the Dent Act still pass? This is an interesting debate, but probably not. If it did, it would be a weaker version of what we saw in The Dark Knight Rises. Gotham is in the United States. Looking at US history, it seems that laws are passed in proportion to the tragedy they're meant to address. The more serious the crime, the stricter the laws. So if the Dent Act was proposed, while Dent was still alive, it would probably contain looser laws and Harvey Dent would have to champion for the Dent Act to be passed. And he probably wouldn't be doing that because he'd be on a rampage taking out criminals in an effort to protect himself and Rachel, which would lessen the cause. However, if a mobster killed him in the course of his murder spree, the mayor and GCPD would use that to propel the Dent Act the way we saw it in The Dark Knight Rises. There you have it, guys. Until next time, keep weaving the threads of your stories.